go, go. Come on. Let's go. Uh, they'll take it. Don't worry. Alright. Yeah. And a big old safety bar. <laughs> there you go. Now you won't fall. That probably happens pretty often. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Well. Here's this thing that is apparently a bad idea is putting your ski poles in between like your legs like this. Yeah. I thought this would be really scary, but they're actually pretty peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. Seventh Heaven's a lot scarier than this. Yeah. <laughs> Do people fall out of these? Yes, but very, very rare. I'd imagine it's pretty rare, yeah. Yeah. It's never on purpose. Mostly the reason why is either it happens like very close towards the bottom because someone didn't load correctly mm -hmm. and get all the way on the chair and then they start sliding off towards the bottom. Yeah. Or the, the much more unlikely case that it happens later on in the ride. So there are like some, someone, people are horsing around a bunch and then the one person accidentally goes a little, gets a little too rowdy and then he slips. That's happened, I can only think of like one or two, one story that that's, like one or two stories that's happened. Yeah. yeah. I'm assuming, I mean, you don't do, pizza's not the way you actually ski, right? It's the way you learn, it's... The it's, way you learn, yeah. but then it goes, you go in, because holding the pizza formation is really strenuous. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I guess uh, over time, you kind of get used to doing it more efficiently. Maybe I'm not teaching it the best, but yeah. But then eventually, you kind of just move to french fries. It's yeah. basically just pulling that other ski to, towards the other one when you're making those turns as you get better. Because it's like... Since all your weight is on your downhill ski, yeah, you don't need the, the other ski can just be parallel. Have to be out. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. and it makes you more in control since the skis are close together. It's like less things all over the place. Right. Axel! I can't imagine how foggy it is up at the top. Like Quite Pacific foggy. crust, yeah. I remember last season, my first run of the season was 7th Heaven, double black. Strong way to start the season. Yeah, but it was great because Stevens Pass was like in a really, really cold <laughs> spell and it was like 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. Super, super cold. GoPro was like freezing off and had to stay inside for like a little decent amount of time to warm it back up again because it can only record like 10 minutes at a time then it would freeze so yeah but i did get some footage of seventh heaven and it was like powder heaven there it was like pretty deep you could guess like and i brought the powder skis so yeah. it was like so awesome are the powder skis your other ones yeah the other skis and they're even longer than these ones these ones are pretty long So then how do you actually stop with pizza? Because if I'm just doing pizza and I'm pointing down slope, mm -hmm. I can't I feel like I can't really stop, I can only slow down. Yeah. Like is there a way to stop without turning or do you usually turn? Yeah, I mean 
Yeah, you always churn. Like, once you, like, get into a higher level of proficiency, you just, like, do the hockey stop thing. Hockey stop, yeah. It's basically, it's okay. pizza, but you went all the way perpendicular to the slope. Right. But then the other skis, like, come comes towards the fr your downhill ski. Yeah. So it becomes french fries. Oh, this will be cool because I don't have a pole. Yeah. Missing a pole, so I'll have to uh, just uh, roll it up and be fine. You, I'm sure you get it. Tips up. Just gonna send it. Yeah, there you go. Just remember the hockey stop technique. Yep. There you go, you did it. You I actually, <laughs> you did better than last time though. Oh, watch out. Sorry, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. See if we can.